What is up, Samurais? We are back with another episode of the Young Prodigy Road to Glory with the Arkansas Razorbacks. And last time you saw us, we absolutely pulled off an insane win over Boston College. Game started off slow, but Young Prodigy took over, and now we are sitting at four and one. And this week, we have the South Carolina Gamecocks, the undefeated, number 10 ranked South Carolina Gamecocks. We're number 13 in the nation right now. But first, looking at our coach's trust, we are so close to that team leader, which causes us to have extra plays up to 10 times in a game, which will be so crucial because I can do five and a half, five per half. Career-wise, going into this game, we're playing a little bit better. We're cutting down the interceptions, a better ratio of 12 to 8, 1,600 yards passing as well. Also, we have 235 yards on the ground, six touchdowns. We're already a better runner than we are last year. And obviously a big game this week against South Carolina. One quick look at the top 25. We have Virginia Tech number one at four and one. Notre Dame number two, Nebraska three, Alabama four. Kansas State 5, Ohio State 6, Georgia Tech 7, Oregon 8, Washington 9, and South Carolina, who we play today at number 10, LSU 11, Clemson 12, then we're sitting at 13, and then you see the rest of the top 25, Oklahoma, who was unranked, got up in there, Arizona, who's also unranked, got up in there, Stanford dropped from 14, and Northwestern dropped from 19. At the, looking at the conference standings, we have we're in second, right behind LSU, who is two and one. We're one and one with Alabama and Auburn. Ole Miss and AM sitting at one and two, but Mississippi State has yet to get an SEC win in the East. South Carolina three and zero, oh, Tennessee two and one, Kentucky one and one, Georgia and Florida two and two. Vanderbilt 1 and 1 and Missouri 0 and 4 and 0 and 1 to start the year. But what we did find out at the end of the last episode, we are in that Heisman watch baby right behind Allen Holden after our amazing day as you can see there 355 through the air, 31 on the ground, five total touchdowns. We put on a show and now we got the eyes of the nation looking at us. It's just a sophomore. But now we got to build on it, man. Real quick. Do you have any upgrades? I think there was no upgrades I wanted. Yeah. Uh, kind of want deep ball. I kind of want these. I had to go and practice, though. Real quick. Okay. We're going to do practice real quick. And then so I can get that 12K. And then we gonna get that big old boy and we gonna get it going. Yeah, okay, it's gonna be super close. Oh, what a way to fit it in there. Way to fit it in there. Okay, how much, how much? Yes, we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Awesome. No one's open. Got it, Griffin. There we go. Dot it up. 12, 262. We're looking at tail of the tape. We got a B plus, A plus offense, B defense. We are leading in pass offense at number eight. Total defense at number 23. Rush defense at number one. And turnover differential. They are a B plus, B plus, A minus. Have more points, more total offense, and more rushing offense, and a better pass defense. Uh, let's see how their season has been looking. They beat ECU, they beat Georgia, they beat Vandy, and they beat Connecticut. But we are their first, honestly, you can say, real opponent, so we never know how they're going to play. 
Obviously, we beat FCS Midwest and NIU before that embarrassing loss to Georgia, before upsetting Texas A&M and beating Boston College. And who boy, we cannot look ahead to number four, Alabama. We got number 13, South Carolina right now. Um, we're going to go with the all whites. It's not color white as well. We're going with the all whites. You see it here. We're both 91. We got a 97 offense compared to their 91. They have a 92 defense compared to our 85. Number 13, Arizona. Arkansas. I don't know why I was about to say Arizona. <laughs> Number 13, Arkansas. Number 10, South Carolina. Let's get it on. All right, we're here. Let's get it going. Uh, we're going to go heads. There we go. Uh, I want the ball first. I want the ball first. I want to make a statement. We're on the road. I want to make a statement. Let's go out here, do our thing. Starting off with a play action pass. Kind of looking at Griffin here. This is why this is this, I I strongly dislike this play because of that. Now I remember, and we're not going back to that play ever again. Cause that play action just throws you off. There we go. Forgot to put the crowd back on. One run to one run. Nope, RB's not going to move. Cause why would I? I'm going to sit there and just look at you and hope you can somehow make a play. Glad to see my teammates are making plays off the rip. Good job, Griffin. I can always count on Griffin to make a play. I can always count on big boy Griffin. Uh, we're not doing a jet sweep. <laughs> we're not doing a jet sweep. Let's see what they do. Oh, I didn't see, I saw him too late. I saw him too late. I saw him way too late. All right, they like playing zone. Run for my light. I have 97 acceleration and these boys are catching me. Make that make sense, what? <laughs> that makes no sense, bruh. Wide open, got him, go Davis. Two big third and long completions off rip. They're playing zone. We have a chance to, to pass on these boys. All right, McCarthy, this is your first carry. Let's go to work, man. Set a block, there you go. Cut, cut up field, get something, there you go, get five. All right, low key looking at Griffin. Is it Griffin? No, I'm going to look at RB. Okay, let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. Yep, yep. Boom. There you go, Coleman. Right up the middle. Touchdown, baby. Let's go. Left the middle wide open, and we open up the drive. Three of four, 83 yards, and a touchdown. See when they don't. See the line, when you block like that, I can sit back, I can make my reads, and we can do our thing. See how easy that is? And defense gives up a touchdown, but they block the extra point, so we'll take it. We got a one-point lead right now. This smells of a blitz. Yep. I think they have technically the Jadavion Clowney as well. And we're going to go right back to the run game after that. No, we're not doing that. Things only have five the entire game, so I gotta trust him as well. There you go, Hunter. Give Hunter some room to throw that. That was also a late hit. Ref, I need a flag, please and thank you. They like sitting in zone, so I don't know how well this is gonna work. Is that from the point? I threw that too late, but McCarthy bails me out with the catch. We got a first. No, I'm, I, I'll wait. I'll waste it. I, I think I chose the wrong play. I wanted to as well. Yep. And I cannot call anything here. I wanted the screenplay. But Davis gets open for me. Gets a first. There we go. 
Yeah, I'm not. I, I'll I, if I run out because of those, I will just have to run out and trust them. But I don't like that play. Let's see what they do. Oh, wide open underneath. Yep, wide open underneath. McCarthy running hard. That's what I like to see. So we can move the ball on this defense. We just gotta trust, bruh. We're at the end of one, second and two in South Carolina territory. And we're up by one right now. Two big third down completions led to this touchdown right here to Coleman. And once again, we're moving the ball well. Might have went. No, we're dead in the middle of the field. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. We're going to roll out. We're going to run. We're going to run. We're going to slide, too. We're going to protect ourselves. we got to learn how to slide and protect ourselves. Let's go. One thing I love about that boot, if I need to run, I'm already moving. And turn up the volume just a little bit so y'all can hear the crowd a little bit more. There we go. Boom. Hit Schultz. Schultz with a first. Take what the defense give us. Take what he gives us. Keep on moving down the field. Keep on moving. Um, we might have a quick slant the Y. No, it's not there. We'll check it down. Scott, there you go. Get seven. See, we just got to make smart reads, bro. Make smart reads. Don't do nothing crazy. We're going to trust McCarthy. You know, like, if you've been watching this series, me and McCarthy got a love-hate relationship. Because he does stuff like this. <laughs> he, got, he got a yard, but... Mm. Speed option. They're probably going to... Uh, I hate that McCarthy's out here with us. Yeah, I, I just didn't trust McCarthy there. I'm going to go for it, though. I'm feeling confident. You are kidding. Okay. Okay. Fine, kick the field goal, up 10-6. Defense gets a stop. Thank you, defense. I wanted to go for it. It gave me field goal run or field goal pass. Carthy gets two. I would like him to run a little bit smarter, but we're going we're going to be alright. Um, Griffin might be open here. Yeah, Griffin. Because he just apparently has the jump of a freaking. <laughs> okay. I'm just glad he didn't pick that off, but. I was blitzing. Davis with a big boy catch. Ooh, we threw that in a tight window. And we get late hit again. Nah. Down the two. We're gonna skip the play. Yeah, I get a yard, I figured. We got two minutes to go in a half though. We can get at least three here, we're in a good spot. Let's see what they do. Boom, right up the middle again. There you go, Moore. His first catch for 18 yards with 12 of 14. We're throwing the ball smartly. That's what I like to see. He might be open again. Maybe he is open again. There you go, Moore. Open again for 27. Buck 38. I said, they're going to keep giving us the middle of the field. We're going to keep taking the middle of the field. We're already in field goal range. Those safeties are moving in. There you go. Check down to Griffin. Second and two. We're moving the ball well. Okay, both of y'all needs should be running. I said both of y'all should be running all the way across the field. Neither one of y'all should be stopping. There we go, Parks. There you go, Parks. Down to what the two? Are you gonna run spacings? Oh, middle of the field might be wide open. I might try to run this. Yep, we're going to run it. Let's go. 
Touchdown, baby. <laughs> Let's go. And just like that, we bought, we take a 10-point lead. They love that zone. So when you're in spacing, they're going to sit in it. And defense holds up. We have a chance for more points right now. We have a chance for a lot more points right now. Let's not get greedy, though. Okay, they're running man. Yep, they're running man. We break a tackle. We're going to take off. <laughs> We're breaking tackles. <laughs> Um, we're gonna run it again. First down stops the clock, so we're in a good space. Boom, got more again, more up the middle of the field. 19 seconds. Let's go four verts. Go four verts. Oh, he's moving up as well. He's moving up as well. We got Coleman. Down to the one. The way we're running, I'm okay with using all of them. I'm looking at Coleman. Looking at Coleman. And we get sacked. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time. No. Let's be, let's be smart. 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 Take the field goal. We're up 20 to six. Beautiful. Perfect. That was a beautiful drive. I wanted another passing touchdown, but we got to play smart. 20 to 6 lead in the second half. Okay, McCall. Oh my gosh, McCarthy just sat 11 down. <laughs> McCarthy just sat that boy down. Oh my word, bruh. And uh, we're gonna roll out, roll in, roll in. Ooh, I threw it too late. Oh, he was there too. He was there too. Okay. Um, I don't really like it, but we're gonna work with it. And Griffin gets in the way. I wanna go for it, cause I was open. We're gonna try it again. Note to self, if he's going to sit there, then. Once again. You It bounced off their head. You are a kid. And of course they score. It bounces off of their head. So two. Get Davis. Like the first time we were supposed to do on third, the third down. And just like that, we have ourselves a ball game. Ah, uh, okay. I see the right up the middle. There you go, McCarthy. See, McCarthy does best on those where all you got to do is just run up the middle. Just run up the middle. That's it. This bus is coming. Yep. Yep. I, I, I wish I can audible out of those. Because I can easily tell when the blitz is coming. Single high safety. If everyone blocks right, we should be good. Third and five. All right, slants. We only have eight yards rushing because of all the sacks. Thank you, Coleman. Way to catch that, buddy. 14 yards and up. First down. Three receptions for 75 yards and a tutty. We have almost 300 yards passing right now. Let's see what they do. Good job, Nugent, where to catch that. First down. We're moving again. We only have five incompletions. We've been playing really well. And off to McCarthy. McCarthy gets some nice yardage there. We'll get three. I would like seven here. I would like seven here. Um, Griffin might be open again. He is wide open. Up the field. Griffin. 
Almost gets there. We're moving fast because I want to kind of catch him off guard. Ooh. Oh, throw away, throw away, throw away, throw away, throw away. <laughs> Be smart there. Be smart there, and he wants to run it now. Ah. Uh. Arthur gets a touchdown though. I want to pad my stats because now that we're in the Heisman run, I, I want I want to do I want that. But let's take the seven. 27-13. Defense gets a stop. And we're at the nine. A score here could put this game away. Especially if it's a long drive. McCarthy stutter steps and gets a yard. Tried to find another hole in the defense and couldn't get it, but. Throw your fours up in the chat. We have ourselves a 14-point lead, 27-13. And Coach looked like he wants to be in that conservative offense, which with five minutes ago, I don't exactly agree with. Or if you do it, you're going to put it in the hands of McCarthy, who is not a good runner for the most part. I say that as he gets 10. Let me shut up. Let me shut all the way up. 10 carries, 32 yards, 3.2 yard average. And they're blitzing. We're going to quick hit, and he swats it away. He got there right when the ball got there, and coach says we're going to run the same play again. And this time they're playing off. So I don't really know why we ran this play again. I don't know why. And I can't audible out of anything, so... Then on third down, he says, let us run a screen play. The conservative nature. Set great blocks. McCarthy doesn't play his blocks. And we have to punt it away. And we give up a touchdown. So all of a sudden, it's a seven-point game. Because our coach said, let's be conservative life. I don't know what. Quick shot. Got Davis. Get nine. Speed option here. 23 at 31, 349 and a touchdown. This is about to be bad. We'll take it ourselves. There we go. Get eight yards on the run. First down. Love to see it. We have 19 first downs. So they're eight. We have double their first downs right now. McCarthy with a decent run gets three. Coach, they still have timeouts as well. So thank you for calling passing plays. Might have the streak here. Mm, ow. Oh, they gave it to him. They gave it to him. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's not give him a chance. Let's not give him a chance. Let's not give him a chance. Let's go. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, my gosh. Of course. Uh, he's sitting at the line and then somehow magically comes back. Defense clutches up with a stop, though. But once again, we're at the nine. We just cannot go a game without throwing an interception. All right, McCarthy. I would say we need at least one first down. Coach, do not do this where we run three times in a row and give him a chance. Can we not, please? McCarthy again. Gets six. They call their second timeout. And Coach is going to throw it here. He puts it in the hands of a sophomore quarterback. We're going to roll out. We're going to roll out. Oh, we got it. We got it. There we go. Great blocks. I try to stay in bounds, but... We'll get the first down, so that pretty much guarantees us the win. It guarantees us the win, because they're going to call one more timeout, and after that, we can run out the clock. I mean, I feel like for the most part, we were in control this game. We just made two really bad errors. Hunter just stiffs arms the man's into left field. We were pretty much, like I said, we were pretty much in control of this game from word go. We just made a couple errors. That this game made it closer than what it was. 
Hunter's going to get nine or seven and make it third and one. And we're just going to keep running this clock. We're going to keep running the clock. We're going to get it down. Should get us inside a minute. And we're going to let it go. Ten on the clock. We're going to go with like a second to go because we can just hike it. Go hand off to Hunter. Hunter gets the first. Hunter gets up the field. Nine yard rush. And that will all but do it there. Coach puts out the wonderful formation a team always loves to see because that means your team is going to win. It's the victory formation, and we just going to let this clock drain down again. This should only need one kneel down, and we're going to call it there. And I'm not going to let y'all sit through all of this anyway, so I will see y'all at the ending screen. All right, there it is, the final whistle. Your Arkansas Razorbacks get a 27-20 win over South Carolina to extend the winning streak. Now we're sitting at 5-1, and, and the play of the game is the touchdown to Coleman. Wide open up the middle, and he just scampers in. And we come and we first we beat a team that was ranked top five. Now we beat our team ranked top 10. And your boy Prodigy is the player of the game. 364 through the air, 35 on the ground, two total touchdowns. And your Razorbacks are finding the groove through the toughest part of our season. And honestly, other than the one interception, which like I said, I honestly didn't see him sitting there and turning around to go back to play his zone. We had we had a pretty good passing day. We we could have honestly had a couple touchdowns because a lot of those got stopped at the one. Um, two come to mind specifically: one to Griffin and one to I believe Coleman again. But we played well overall. We're playing better. We're getting better as the season is going on. So I cannot wait to see what the rest of this season entails. Obviously, next week we have number four Alabama. We'll see where they rank and where we rank as well. But one last look at the stats here today. We are 24 for 33, 364 and a touchdown, 35 on the ground with another touchdown as well. But I will see y'all at the title screen. One second. We are back on the screen. And as you can see there, 27-20 win over South Carolina. And then we also got team leader. Oh no, we got hometown hero. No, we should get team. Yeah, we should get team leader. Um, I guess we got to advance forward to officially get it. So let's do that real quick. And as you can see, we're at home versus number four Alabama. And if I am, if I believe myself to be correct, that will be a top ten matchup between us and a matchup that can honestly dictate the SEC West. Round. I know LSU got one loss and are undefeated as well. We'll handle them at the end of the season. But to get that tiebreaker over Alabama, who I think will be up there as well, it will go not go a long way into claiming that SEC West crown. We do have the other half of the season to go, and a lot can play out on any given Saturday, as we can tell earlier in the series when we played Georgia who were winless and absolutely tore us a new one. But the auto save is in progress. We are actually right outside the top 10 at number 11. Alabama is number six at five and one. So I believe they dropped two spots as well. So 
but looking at the top 25 real quick we have virginia tech still at number one kansas state is now number two georgia tech is number three they jumped to, from number seven so two jumps there five and seven to two and three Oh, uh, Notre Dame is at number four. They dropped. Nebraska is number five. They dropped. And Bama dropped to number six. So I guess, which is, uh, well, I guess because both teams are undefeated, they even that out now. Ohio State is number six. Clemson is number seven. Oregon, eight. Washington, not, or, no, I'm sorry. I'm off there. <laughs> Go back up. Nebraska is five. Alabama, six. Ohio State is seven. Clemson is eight, Oregon is nine, Washington is 10. We're number 11, LSU is number 12. And as you can see the rest of the top 25 here, um, looks like South Carolina dropped from number 10 to number 17. And then two unranks get in UConn and NC State. Going over to the conference standing. After our win over South Carolina, we are in a three-way tie, which proves my earlier point. LSU is two and one. We're two and one. Alabama is two and one. Ole Miss is two and two. A&M, Auburn, and Mississippi State are all one and two. SEC East with South Carolina's first loss that gives them a half a game lead over Tennessee, who is two and one. Florida three and two, Georgia's two and two, Vanderbilt and Kentucky are one and two, and Missouri is 0 and five despite being a 90 overall team, and they're 0 and two in conference play. Heisman watch, did we jump up? No, we did not. Both me and Holden stay in our spots. Wisconsin's Jacob Scott jumps up, Matt McCauley from Oklahoma jumps up, and John Banks from Georgia Tech jumps up so a lot of storylines going into this alabama game that is for sure so we have eric novak of buffalo and ben king of clemson as your player of the weeks for the nation and tennessee sweeps this week joe barry and brandon carter are player of the weeks as they played fcs midwest so a lot of storylines going into this game versus Alabama, but going into it, we are a 73% completion passer with 1,900 yards through the air, 13 touchdowns to nine interceptions. Rushing wise, 62 carries for 270, four yards per carry, seven touchdowns. No fumbles that game, so we're, we're staying at four. But that is it. And as you can see here, big time. They're A pluses across the board. Kirk is choosing us to win. This will be a tall task either way. But next week, we have Alabama at home, number six, number 11, two quarterback Heisman hopefuls. A way to break the three-way tie in the SEC West. The storylines are there. All we got to do is play the game. But that will be it for me for this episode. I will catch y'all next time. Spread peace, love, and happiness. Deuces.